guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I did this very extra, extra dextra <laughs> unicorn hair look. So I'll show you how to wrap your hair around the little horn as well as a bubble pony for the mane. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is section off a part at the front where your horn is going to go. So I'm just going to section off like a little square. All right, so once you have your sections, you're going to take a piece of paper or some cards. So this is like a little square piece of bristle board. And then you're going to roll this into your horn shape. So something a little bit like that. And then what you're going to do with this, the, see how it's a, on a slight angle? This part goes towards the back of your head so your horn kind of sticks out in the right way. And what you're going to do is take this and then wrap it around your hair. And roll it back into that horn shape. So it would be something like that. And then this is the hair that you would wrap around the horn. And as you can see, it's not that much hair, right? So there's a few ways that you can go about that you can go about this. So either you can use your natural hair, whatever you have on your head, and just make the horn a little smaller to accommodate the length of your hair. If you have like super long hair, then you'll probably be fine. But if you don't have that much hair, you can make like a little horn if you want to do that. Or what I'm gonna do today is use some fake hair. So I'm using a little bit of rainbow and a little bit of pink hair that I'm going to add to this section. Or if you don't want to go and get braiding hair, you can use clip-in hair extensions if you have any laying around. If you have some clip-in hair extensions, you can add it to the section to make your hair look longer. But I'm going to show you how I do it with the fake hair. So I just got a pack of rainbow and a pack of pink hair. I actually got it on Amazon. I'll link them down below. If you want to get them, they're pretty inexpensive. And then what I did was I put a little hair elastic around the two, and then I'm going to tie this to the little ponytail I have here. All right, so this is what it looks like now. So now we have a lot more hair to work with. So I'm going to go back to the paper and wrap this around this hair section. And once you're happy with how it's looking, you can just get a piece of tape and then tape close your little paper horn. And then at this point, your horn should pretty much stay on its own. And then you just take the hair and wrap it around the paper. And then when it gets to the end, I'm just gonna take some bobby pins and pin the hair down. And this is gonna help the horn stay in place. And as you can see, I didn't get to cover that part right there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of extra hair just to cover up that little part at the bottom. So this is what the horn is looking like right now. So you can totally just leave it like this if you want to, but I wanna make a big bubble pony for the mane. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so what you're gonna do is take a section from the side, bring that up. And then from the other side. Okay, so this is where your first bubble is gonna start, right at the base of your horn. So I'm just going to cut this section in half, like this way. So there's hair at the front and then hair at the back. And then I'm going to sandwich that around the braiding hair. So I, okay, I'll show you. So I'm going to section it this way. And then take the braiding hair, put it here. We're going to take that back section. And then tie that down. So now that we have the braiding hair locked in place, we can start building the bubble pony. So we're just going to take the next section of hair down here and then add it into the next bubble. And then once you have your next section in place, you can start to fluff up your first bubble and give it a little bit more volume and then continue on to the next section. And then once that's in, you can just fluff up your next bubble. 
So I just continued adding more bubble sections and then when you get to the bottom, you can kind of fluff them up a little bit to give them a little bit more volume. And then I just left the end kind of bushy for that unicorn tail look. So you can totally end the look right here if you want to, but as a final touch, if you want to be even more extra, you can get these little fairy lights, the little wired ones that you can get online with a little battery pack, and you can wrap this into your hair as well. It'd be really cute if you're going out at night and you want that little extra sparkle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hide the little battery pack in my hair right here. I'm just gonna slide that in and then wrap this around my horn. I feel like it's a little Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, so that is it for this very extra unicorn hair tutorial. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would you ever try something like this? I am curious, let me know. And if you do recreate this, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your guys' renditions of the unicorn hair horn thing. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.